Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tour review is going to be a screwdriver from Vera. It's one of their newer screwdrivers, a ratcheting screwdriver. Part number on this is 838RA-RM. Uh, and again, I'm going to get into this in a minute. Going to cost you about 40 bucks. I picked this up on KC Tool along with some other things. I'll go ahead and show you what else I got just so you have an idea because I had to do this to get free shipping. So you go to buy this for $40. I think you have to spend $75. Uh, I went ahead and picked up this Philo uh all here it's a 493 i thought maybe i'd be able to use that to make holes for drywall anchors and things like that and it kind of had a ball handle look to it so i like that most of these things are going to be bag fillers uh, that i basically picked up to be extras and things like that so i picked me up another small pair of cobras the 150s for a pouch and then a couple of vera ball handle screwdrivers so just so you guys know you can now get these on kc tool they run you about 11 or 12 dollars a piece and you don't have to go through Amazon Japan. So if you've been wanting some of those, I went ahead and picked me up a set uh, just to put in different pouches so I don't have to swap tools around a lot. And then my mystery sticker, along with I bought a sticker pack uh, somewhere, a bunch of different stickers, is Heiko. And I've never even heard of this brand, so if you guys know what this is, uh, drop that down in the comments below. What's the type of tools that they're known for? I have no idea. So anyways, that's just that. I'm just sharing that with you so that you get an idea of maybe there's some other things out there that you want to buy alongside of this to get you free shipping. Those are some of the things I picked up. So here's a ratcheting screwdriver. Again, this one just released from Vera. I got an email from Lockhammer. He was in one of the guests of trade videos. Uh, he emailed me and said that he was going to go ahead and pick these up. And he's even not a ratcheting screwdriver fan. Kind of like what I am. I'm, I'm not it's not that i don't like them i just don't really frequently use them enough so then it makes me i don't really care that one ratchets or one doesn't but this one had some nice features on it i watched it over on a, a video on i think it's bzug or bzug i don't know how you pronounce his name i saw it on his video as well decided i'm gonna go ahead and pick it up so inside the box here uh, you open it up a vera sticker and then here's the screwdriver right there within itself Again, it's not very big. If you compare this size-wise, it's pretty much about like having a Phillips number one handle. If you've got any of the other Vera screwdrivers. So there's a Phillips one. It's pretty much about like that. Or the 5.5 slotted. This is one of my favorite screwdrivers for like wall plates and stuff like that. About the same size handle as that. So it's not a real big handle. You can see it in my hand. Fairly small. Another reason why I wanted this one was because I was wanting to try out the wrap adapter. A lot of people swear by these and I've never really used one that much before. I didn't even think I even had one, but then I got to thinking my Vera uh, torque screwdriver that I use for receptacles and things like that, it actually has one on it. I just never did pay much attention because it was a different color. Uh, just to see how it works because I've been thinking about buying some to use in my drills and impacts and things like that just because people like them so much. So that's uh, again, another reason why I bought it was I wanted to try that. Uh, the features on this one looked interesting compared to any other ratcheting screwdriver that I've tried. And then again, I like the handle being smaller on a ratcheting screwdriver. It's really the only reason why I kind of like this vessel ratcheting screwdriver is because I can actually change the adjustment right here without having to, like I have to on this Klein. If I'm using this one and I want to change directions, I've either got to bring my second hand up and change it, or, you know, I got to crawl back and crawl down the handle and change it and then crawl back up. I don't really like doing that. So the fact that this handle's smaller, I think that that actually works out well in my favor. It might not be what, you know, a thing that you like that much. Uh, so here's the box. Here's some of the features that it has. It has a 10 degree fine tooth on there. Also, it says speed. I'll show you what that is here in just a second. Again, it's got the quarter inch wrap adapter. I think they've also got a model, but I think it's an even smaller handle that has a magnetic uh, bit holder up here. So, you know, similar to that of uh, that Klein bit holder right there, just on the end, not a, not a collet, but just uh, you put a bit in and out of it. But I think the handle on that one's actually smaller as well. So I don't think there's really anything else back here on the box. I'll go ahead and show you that so you can scroll in and look at it if you want to. Uh, it's Germany and then all the things that go along right there. Uh, so what makes this one different than the rest of them mainly the switch because it is reversed from every other ratcheting screwdriver that i have so for instance on this klein if i want to go forward with the screwdriver this knob has to be turned back this way clock uh, counterclockwise so it's kind of reversed if i want to go clockwise with my screw i got to turn this counterclockwise and then if i want to go counterclockwise i got to rotate this knob uh, to where it's going to lock into place and let me go counterclockwise and then of course it has that fixed position uh, vessels the same way so whenever i want to turn it uh, if i wanted to screw in a screw like this i've got to 
turn it all the way back and then it will kind of catch right there that's the way that one is this one's actually the other way and to me this one makes more sense uh, I've, I've heard the reasoning behind this way but for if i want to turn the screw in let me go ahead and get a bit here and i'll just show you on a screw so let me go ahead and do this and just to show you that the wrap adapter will fit this one inch bit you can put that in there locks into place and then i can also pull that out or you can put in a longer bit if you want to as well so uh, i'm going to use this one inch bit here and again if i wanted to go clockwise so if i wanted to tighten this screw i can basically right now it's in that let's say it's backwards this way so right now it's right here it's going to go counterclockwise now let's say i want to switch i can just hit it with my thumb and now i'm going that same direction that i want to go so if i want to go this way i just have to turn the switch clockwise now my screw is going to go in clockwise now if i want to loosen this take my thumb switch it back and go counterclockwise or it also has that fixed position in the middle where i can go either way and then that speed that comes in is based upon you know the fact that this thing continually spins it's not like a switch where once you go all the way one direction it locks into place and then whenever you come backwards it's got a stopping point it will continue to go so you can kind of use that like a thumb screw so if you've got a screw that's really loose you could just sit there and continually just do that if you're in a spot where you can't really turn your hand as easy but you can stick your thumb in there and hit that or your finger or whatever it might be so that's your speed and then you can also just do it backwards so that's forward and reverse however you want to because again there's not really a locking point on this right here on that switch for forward and reverse it just continues to go forward and it continues to go reverse and then if you want to put it in the fixed position you just got to kind of feel it it will lock into place and you'll feel it right there so again that's that's the big difference to me is that the the switch is just not the same as any other one now you may be so used to the other ones now that this would drive you crazy but i'm not really used to a ratcheting screwdriver uh, you know even though i'm using this impact ratcheting 11 and one a lot more than probably any other ratcheting screwdriver at the moment but half the time i just used it in, in that fixed position i never turn it and then again if i wanted to go forward now i'd turn it back and then it stops it locks into place doesn't continue to spin like this vera one does so i think it's a neat feature because again you get into a spot where because right here if i go in forward i probably don't have enough tension on this screw yeah see i'm not going to get any ratcheting right now it's just going to sit there and spin but i could sit there and do this on a screw and get those threads taken up until maybe i get to a point where it tightens up so yeah guys that's the vera 838 ra-rm uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about it what do you think about the switch being the other direction from what it is i think that that's kind of neat in my opinion but again it's because i'm not so used to using other rationing screwdrivers if you've been using a rationing screwdriver for 15 years and it's always been that other direction you're probably going to get this one and it's going to be backwards to you so let me know in the comments below what you think as always i hope this video was useful or helpful in some way but you guys stay safe have a blessed day see you on the next video